Okay, welcome everyone. This is Joss from the SI website, and I'm here to share with you uh, our latest guide, which is to help you get started with uh, the SI uh, website. So uh, this is an overview to um, understand uh, what SI is about, uh, what you can do on the website, and how to use the website, and how to get uh, more involved in the community. So it covers uh, those four main areas, and it's really from a user-centered perspective um, for someone who's really new to the website and is trying to figure out uh, what it is, how it works, and so forth. So those are the four main areas we're going to cover today. What's the SI network? Uh, what can I do there? Um, how do I use the website? And how do I get more involved? Um, so here we are. This is the SI network, Systems Innovation. It's a network of people learning and applying the ideas of systems thinking towards addressing uh, complex worker challenges in many different areas. Um, so quite a large community of practice, you might say. We're about 20,000, uh, 23,000 members at this time. And what we have in common is that we're all interested in these ideas, whether it's systems thinking or complexity theory, and uh, learning how to um, apply those and uh, try to make change, a uh, more transformative kind of uh, change happen try to unlock the potential of those ideas, should we say. So that's uh, the SI network. Uh, very briefly, uh, this is a purpose statement. We're, we're here to build the world's capacity for systems innovation, help uh, people uh, understand and address complex wicked challenges um, and co-create co a, a different world, should we say, one where systems work and they work for everyone. Um, so this is, yeah, just an overview to our, our vision, our mission, um, core values, um, and our strategy, just to say a few words about that. Four values, maybe you've seen these, it's kind of where everything starts. Um, openness, growth mindset, creativity, uh, perseverance, uh, care. Um, hopefully you'll see these expressed in uh, what we do, the activities and the approach we take. Not gonna go too much into all of this uh, right now, just gonna flick through it, actually different dimensions to uh, the identity and um, the legacy and history of, of SI and how we see ourselves as a collaborative network, an open source community, uh, a platform, a social enterprise, um, and an ecosystem. And this is kind of our theory of change. Um, it's all about how do we uh, introduce people to these new ideas and organizations, help, help uh, co-learn this, and then connect people and build uh, these hubs, these networks, these communities for co-creating systems uh, innovation. And it's a process, right? It's a journey we're working to take people on uh, with that platform, uh, supporting uh, people and organizations on their journey from initial awareness um, to learning, to connecting, to uh, hopefully ultimately co-creating uh, systems innovation. And that's kind of uh, how we organize everything on the website. Um, so hopefully this is part of the takeaway today that you understand that we're kind of structuring when you look at the website, when you look at the events and, and content, you'll see it's structured around this um, because that's what we're focusing on the journey for organizations and individuals. So that was a bit about SI. Um, this is about the activities that we do uh, at SI. We just saw them there, like how they're structured. Um, again, awareness, learning, connecting, and co-creating. And uh, we developed four main programs around those uh, to address each kind of stage in the, the user journey, should we say. So the Explore uh, series um, is all about awareness um, and getting people started uh, on their journey. Um, the Learn is going deeper in terms of learning ideas and methods. Connect is all about connecting the members of our uh, community uh, to enable them to uh, collaborate and exchange and uh, ultimately co-create, which is about um, getting experience of how to apply these ideas and, uh, and methods. So just to talk about the awareness um, section on the website, uh, you'll see this little icon down here, SI uh, Explore Series, which is all the events we do in this series. So when you see that, you'll, you'll know you're dealing with all things about helping people uh, on their initial awareness of this whole area. Um, what is it? Is it for them? Uh, why is it important? How can it help them and um, help them get started uh, with the area and with the SI platform? So we do a number of different 
uh, activities there. Uh, we do a lot of social media and communications. You may have seen that on channels like LinkedIn, uh, Twitter, and YouTube. This is to help kind of raise awareness, um, help people on you know that initial uh, getting to know what this is about. A lot of um, visuals and graphic communication so that people can grasp the ideas quite quickly. Um, we run different activities and events to help people get started um, in the area, and then we support them uh, on their journey. Learning activities so is the second series, um, and you'll see that logo again on all the events uh, that are around the learning. You'll see the SI Learning series. Uh, so this is uh, really about people going deeper in terms of understanding all the ideas, and there's a lot of them and methods. So there's a lot to be done here. And um, this is what we do. We have a lot of content. You may have seen this educational content. You can um, access that on demand, video courses and so forth. Uh, we run the learning series and that part of that is this weekly uh, events where we um, get together and present and do uh, workshops around the guides and uh, learning the methods that runs for almost six months. Uh, and then we do uh, daily posts and um, trying to uh, help people uh, get the most from the content, access it, and guide them through that on a daily basis when you join on the website. This is some of the content. Um, you can access the guides, uh, which is really the place to start if you want to learn. Um, concept cards, many courses, ebooks, and so forth. There's a lot of content there for you to learn on demand. Next one's the Connect series, and this is all about connecting the members um, to help people discover. Uh, connect around common themes, exchange and collaborate. We aim to build strong networks among the members that can form uh, platforms for, for collaboration going forward. So look out for that, that uh, logo there. When, you're, um, uh, when you see it, you'll be uh, involved in the activities for connecting the members. So the first section is all about um, building out your profile, finding other people with similar interests, introducing yourself, and connecting peer to peer. Um, we also have spaces and a space for people to exchange ideas, resources, and so forth on the website. I'll show you that uh, in a minute. And then we have hubs where we're connecting people in individual uh, specific uh, thematic areas or partic particular locations. So to say a bit more about the hubs, because they're quite important, uh, we have a network of about 20 hubs, uh, about 12 of them are location, different cities around the world, uh, eight of them or so are thematic. And these are spaces to bring people and organizations together for shared learning about systems thinking and innovation uh, for different kinds of events, activities, um, and ways to collaborate around challenges. And um, they're kind of, again, community practices Bit like the larger community but exploring what this means within that specific location or thematic area as uh, both a community of learning and, and a space for experimentation and um, there's two kinds as mentioned location hubs which are in different uh, cities and they're uh, location-based um, communities of practice and change um, and thematic ones so those are in different areas, different sectors, like you know, logistics or food or education, governance, and so forth. So those are uh, the hubs. And then moving on to the final uh, section, the co-create uh, series is um, uh, the program is to enable members to work together on applying the ideas and methods. That's what we're focused on here. Uh, so we facilitate spaces. Um, such as co-creations, workshops, labs, where members can work around a given challenge. And this uh, includes the tools and methods. Uh, so a lot of canvases, you'll see those on the website. You'll be able to uh, take those and use them. A lot of training um, seminars and workshops for people to learn how to use those. And then finally labs, different kinds of labs and co-creations like challenge labs, bring people together uh, with those tools and methods um, to actually apply them around challenges um, some of them more uh, to gain the experience, right? Maybe just five weeks or something. Some of them longer, uh, real labs and projects. So those are the activities. Um, now to go into the website, right? And the website obviously corresponds to those programs and those uh, series. So we'll just look at that. So this is when you go to systemsinnovation.network. 
it looks like this. And you'll see once you've signed up that uh, on the left-hand side here is the menu. So at the top there, you've got the main feed where you'll see everything that's going on in the site. Second one down, uh, all the events. So you can, you can see all the uh, events, activities that are coming up uh, in the network, both the hub ones and the, the different programs we run with the core team. Uh, down below, you'll see the four different categories that I mentioned uh, before in terms of the, um, the programs. Um, so you can see home is actually the awareness one, but then you have connect, learn, and create. Um, so they're corresponding, everything to do with the connect circles, obviously, and connect there and learning and so forth. Uh, top, you'll find the search bar, which is the quick way to find everything. If you're looking for a particular topic, like self-organization or, or whatever it is, systems changing, type it in there and you'll see all the, the content, uh, maybe even past events we've done on that. And then you'll see uh, in, on the right-hand side here, the spaces, which the individual groups within that category um, on the left. And this one here is where you want to start, right? Uh, the home one. Um, so the first section includes all the activities for um, the awareness program and everything about SI. It's also where we post um, updates relating to the whole network. You see start here is where you want to start and it, it explains um, everything there. We've also got updates and about SI and so forth. You'll see the help option on the right hand side there. You can always ask uh, a question there and all the guides uh, for getting started also there in the menu. So uh, next one's the connect um, category in the left hand menu there. It's been expanded. Um, so here you discover other members, you get introduced, discuss, exchange, and so forth. And you'll also find the hub groups here. So you can see uh, the space introduction, you can see members. That's where you're going to see all the members. And then introductions, you can introduce yourself. Um, and exchange is where you can exchange uh, resources, ideas, and so forth. Below that, you'll see actually a list of all the hubs um, and the groups. You can go in there with actually... In this illustration, we've opened up the Amsterdam hub. So you can see inside that, you can see the menu there where all the events and updates and members are listed for that hub. That's the same for the other hubs also and all the groups. Okay, so that's the connect. And then we've got the learn. Um, again, that's on the left-hand side menu there. We've just expanded it and you can find all the resources there. Um, you know, the guides, courses, eBooks, uh, cards, so on and so forth, and also the learning series where all the events take place. Um, so that's where all the learning happens. There's a lot of uh, courses, all the courses are listed there in the left-hand bar going down, and all the content. And then the create um, section, which is down at the bottom, and you'll find here all the tools, uh, canvases and so forth, the game and toolkit, and then uh, the create series where we actually run uh, seminars every couple of weeks to help you uh, learn how to use those tools and get the experience around facilitation and so forth. Here we also list all the co-creations and all the labs so that you can be involved in um, learning how to apply those around the challenge. So that's the connect circle. Um, and then finally, just a uh, more practical uh, side of this, the notifications up on the top right-hand side of the uh, website, you'll see a profile there, but then beside that, you'll see uh, messages. So this is where you'll get uh, messages from other members, you'll be notified there. And the notifications, here, here you'll get notifications based on the groups uh, you're a part of and the people you're following. And uh, the COG uh, sign under notifications, you can adjust what you're receiving, so specific groups or specific activities, um, whether you're getting them by the app or email or the website or what that looks like, you can change all of those. Okay, so that's the website. Finally, just talk about uh, how to be more involved. So we've explained what SI is about. We've explained different activities you can be involved in uh, when you join. We've shown you a bit the website and how that looks and how it corresponds to the activities, the different programs. So you can choose what you want to be involved in. You can think about your journey uh, also from you know initial awareness to learning, connecting, co-creating. And finally, we'll talk here about how to become more involved in the network uh, over time. So this is how the membership is structured. 
um, all the way from the left, which is uh, the least engaged to the right, which is the most engaged. Um, so on the left-hand side, we've got followers, uh, people on LinkedIn or Twitter or YouTube. Uh, there's many of those, maybe 150, 200,000 uh, followers across across those different channels. Uh, then we have members, uh, people who sign up, register on the website, and um, they, they can use the content, engage in events, and share uh, resources and ideas. Uh, there's about 23,000 of those at the moment, as mentioned. Then we have hub teams, so you can be involved in a hub. Um, so these are people who manage and develop uh, the SI hubs, typically three to five people per uh, hub. Uh, there's maybe about 50 of those people at this time, uh, or maybe a bit more. And then the core team, these are the people that represent SI, they work to manage and develop uh, the overall network, uh, such as myself, and we'll show you some of the others uh, in a minute. So that's the overall structure and uh, how different ways, uh, levels to be involved. Um, so in terms of the membership, when you join on the website, um, you're starting your journey and there's different kind of levels to that from initial uh, basic membership, uh, where you can be involved in events, connect with others, make use of the content, share ideas, resources, uh, and post um, questions also and polls and so forth. Uh, and connect with the other members. Uh, we have power users, and people who are very active um, and very involved in uh, sharing and kind of co-creating the community with us. And community champions, the people who are very passionate about the, the community and um, uh, what, what it's about, its purpose and so forth, and they champion it. Um, so these are the badges that kind of correspond to different levels in the community. You'll see this on your profile or some of the other people's profi profiles. Uh, on the left, the community champion, uh, hub team member, this, this lady is, and power user uh, member. So you can also get a subscription if you want to access more of the resources on the website. This is how we're funded, uh, through the subscriptions of the uh, individual members and, and sometimes organizations. So there's two types for individuals. On the left is for the most basic one, the learner uh, subscription, and uh, this gives you access to the basics of educational content, the videos, uh, video courses, ebooks, and so on. The professional one, it gives you all access to everything on the website, uh, and also the seminar trainings and opportunity to download and re reuse some of the, the content. Uh, the team one is then for organizations uh, who want to have a number of their their team uh, join and um, uh, use the access, uh, use the website. So those are subscriptions. Uh, you'll see them on the website there. Um, so this is joining or starting a hub. So this next level of involvement. You can um, join as a member. It's quite easy. You'll find the groups there I showed you before, and you choose which one you want to join, and then you become a member. And hopefully you're active in uh, events and uh, activities there. Um, you can become a team member, either extended or core team. Uh, so extended are uh, contributing on specific activities um, of interest to them, uh, whereas the core team is kind of leading that hub, um, organizing, managing, and coordinating activities. So typically just three or four or five people in the core team can be more in the extended team. Um, so you can join an existing hub. You can request to join uh, an existing hub team, extended or core. Um, or you can propose starting a new new hub and we'll have that conversation with you. So uh, let's just see some badges. So you can see a hub representative uh, badge, but also this lady is part of the core team. Um, so we can talk about that. Uh, so the core team uh, represents SI and manages the development of the network. Um, and they set the overall strategy and governance for the community. Um, we also do a lot of day-to-day uh, -day work around providing services, uh, work to coordinate uh, activities and set up hubs and maintain content and so on and so forth, uh, the technology and finances and so forth. So that's uh, the function of the core team and uh, it's divided into operations and um, non-operations, the advisors or governance people who just joined to help on uh, advising and uh, governance or strategy matters. Um, and then the operations who do the day-to-day -day work. This is a little bit what it looks like at the moment. Um, there's about six or seven of us. 
some again in the day-to-day uh, -day operations, working with hubs or doing the, the training or um, other sorts of events, the, the labs and co-creations, um, some people working on just for governance and advisory. So that's that. Uh, that's the uh, full uh, presentation in terms of what's what SI is about, um, what you can be involved in, what the website looks like, and how you can um, get involved in different uh, different ways from from hubs um, to just be a member, a power member, or a champion. So hopefully that explains uh, all your questions and uh, comments. If not, um, do you have any more? Uh, questions or feedback would love that you'll find it I showed you there the start here section on the website and you'll see in that um, the help section where you can send us a message um, or you can send us a direct message you can also join one of our events we host regularly in terms of getting started in the SI network where we'll explain this in a bit more and you could also have your questions uh, answered there great I'll leave it there for now uh, hopefully that was useful